Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to review Pokemon's newest game, Pokemon Unite, on the Nintendo Switch. It was just released on July 21st, 2021. And before we get into this, comment down below and tell me what new playable character you would want to see on this game. In my opinion, I would want Lapras. Lapras is my favorite Pokemon. Ice, water, mm, I hope, I wish. <laughs> Let's get into this. Be strong. Be strong. Pokemon Unite is a multiplayer online battle arena game. It's as if Overwatch and Pokemon had a baby and boom. The objective of the game is to score as many points as you can on the opposing team's side. But the only way to score points is to either one, defeat the wild Pokemon that are on the map and gain points that way and then shoot them into their designated areas, or two, defeat the other team members on the opposing side and steal their points in order to score them. And when I said shoot the points, that's literally what I mean. Because seeing Pokemon dunk their points into a basket is kind of like the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Pokemon Unite is a whole new take on the Pokemon franchise. I've never seen anything like it from Pokemon. It's catching on quickly, so if you don't have it, I say grab it right now. Download it on your Switch if you have a Nintendo Switch. The Pokemon company made it completely free, so you don't have to pay anything, you can download it. You can buy stuff within the game in order to customize your characters or your Pokemon, but other than that, it's completely free. It's a great game. Let's get into it. The playable characters we have thus far on the Pokemon Unite roster are Pikachu, Charizard, Snorlax, Crustle, Greninja, Eldegoss, Talonflame, Lucario, Venusaur, Mr. Mime, Slowbro, Absol, Machamp, Wigglytuff, Alolan Ninetales, Cramorant, Gengar, Garchomp, Cinderace, then they just released Guard of War, and the only way to get this character is to download the game now, up until August 24th, because it's their special character that they released, is Zera Aura. So don't forget to download it now so you can get Zera Aura. Um, I don't know if they're gonna do this thing where they release a new character every so months, kind of like Super Smash Bros. Hopefully, fingers crossed, that's the way they do it. What type of Pokemon would you like to see in this game? Um, the possibilities are endless, with all the generations, you go old school, new school. Who do you want to see? What do you want to see? Each character is put into its own section of what kind of fighter that they are. Currently in this game, there are five sections. We have an attacker, a supporter, a defender, an all-rounder, and a speedster. So they are all put into their own categories depending on what kind of fighter they are. Also, when you choose a Pokemon, you also get to know what kind of level difficulty they are to play. Instead of just sitting here talking about it, let me give you guys a gameplay so I can show you guys exactly what I mean. Pokemon Unite! Once you get into your game, we'll go to the bottom right hand corner and hit Unite Battle, which will take you directly to your battle. Once this pops up, go ahead and press start and it'll take you to your first match. When the matchmaking is successful, just press ready. It'll take you to your Pokemon and I'm gonna go with Machamp. He's an all-rounder fighter and he's pretty freaking strong. Once we pick our Pokemon, we're gonna hit ZL to go into the battle prep function. Battle prepping allows you to edit your battle items and your held items for your Pokemon, which in turn makes your Pokemon stronger and sometimes can save your butt while you're battling. You can also communicate with your partners and your team of where you're going to go. You can also look up your Pokemon moves list and to see what they do and how they're going to affect you in the game. Once that happens, the game is going to load and we'll be off to our first battle. So right off the bat, we're going to go battle these wild Pokemon for some Aos points. So the goal of the game is for each team to earn Aos energy by defeating wild Pokemon and player opponents, then depositing that energy into enemy gold zones. So as you progress through the game, you can learn new moves. So I'm going to hit ZR for that bulk up and use it against these wild Pokemon to win. So now that I have 14 Aos points, I'm going to go ahead and score those so my team can get ahead. Boom, team's first goal. So what I realized while playing this game is that it's easier to level up and evolve the more wild Pokemon that you fight. So go ahead and fight as many as you can, and in 3, 2, 1, 
I should evolve, there you go. And with evolution, you get to learn new different types of moves, so definitely take advantage of that. So these little textiles can actually launch you across the map. They won't launch you very far, but they'll launch you enough so you can evade enemy attacks if you're being overwhelmed. And that's exactly what I use them for. So let's go ahead and beat up Jigglypuff and take her points. Those little orbs that she drops are points that she no longer has anymore because I stole them. Anyways, <laughs> um, you can also go into your team zone and within your goal you can actually charge up and gain HP. Also, each goal has a maximum of 80 points you can score, and once you reach that, the goal will then disappear. So that ZL move down there, that's your Unite move. That is your ultimate weapon. So Machamp's Unite move is a Fury of Fists. I'm going to use it on Slowbro right now to show you guys what it does. Boom, 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 boom. It releases an amazing amount of damage. Depending on your character and your character type, depends on what kind of Unite move you'll have. Also, as you can see, there's a little Rotom. When you defeat a Rotom in the game, he actually helps you out. He becomes your ally, and he disables the team goalpost from being able to gain HP within the goal zone, which makes it completely useless and then helps you score more points. So when you die in the game, this countdown will happen, depending on how much time is left in the game, depends on how long the countdown is. Then you'll be revived, go ahead and step on that yellow textile, press down to speed jump, then hit ZR and pick any goalpost you want, and then you'll jump directly to that goalpost so you don't have to run all the way there and waste your time. When you're playing Think Outside of the Box, I'm going to use this submission move. Usually it will suplex a Pokemon, but I also learned that it gives me a rush of speed, and so I use that to evade the opposing side. You don't always have to use your move for exactly for what it's intended to be used as. When there's only two minutes left of the game, a Zapdos will appear in the middle of the arena. Go ahead and try to defeat that Zapdos, and if your team defeats it, you'll gain an automatic 50 Aos points, and your opponent's goal zones will become defenseless. Holy shit. <laughs> this is honestly the best match I've ever played, and the fact that I recorded it all, yeah, the vibes are immaculate right now. Once the game is finished, you'll be able to collect your Aos energy and collect all your winnings from all of your missions and everything else. I really hope you guys enjoyed my gameplay, and I hope I was able to give some insight and some tips to help you guys if you're new to the game or if you just didn't know because there's a lot of things that i learned while playing the game that i didn't know of like those little springy textile things that can launch you across the map or to super jump across the map or just a whole bunch of different things but pokemon unite is an amazing game for older generations newer generations it's just a bunch of fun and you can also create your own lobbies so you play with your friends. It's a win. I hope you guys love this video and I hope you learned some new things today. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below and don't forget to tune in for new videos. Have a good day, everybody. And remember, choose to be you. <laughs>